Many artists over the years have tried and failed to make a statue that resembles Our Lady as the Fatima children saw her in 1917. Until finally a statue was crafted that satisfied even Sister Lucia, who was one of the seers. Today I'm going to tell you about how that miraculous Fatima statue came to be. It all began with a young pilgrim named Gilberto. Howdy, and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca, and it is so good to be here with you today. Thank you so much. Let's jump right into today's miraculous story. At Fatima, the only people that actually saw Our Lady were three young visionaries. So one of the first questions asked of the children by many pilgrims was, what does she look like? Without deviation, the children would reply that she was very beautiful, but the descriptions left by the children were of little help. One day, a pilgrim to Fatima, Gilberto Fernandez dos Santos, took it upon himself to have the very first Fatima statue made. He contacted a sacred art shop, and the artist assigned to the task was Jose Ferreria Thidium, who took his job very seriously. On May 13, 1920, Thedum's statue was finished and later taken to the apparition site. It has remained in Fatima ever since and has only left for a brief period of a handful of times. The statue has presided over many Fatima ceremonies and countless miracles are attributed to it. But Sister Lucy saw the statue and didn't think that it represented who she saw in 1917. So the search for the perfect statue continued. And soon, thousands and thousands of inaccurate statues were in circulation throughout the whole world. Then in 1946, John Hafford, who's the co-founder of the Blue Army of Our Lady of Fatima, now the World Apostolate of Fatima, took over the effort to find the most precise and beautiful Fatima statue. He met with Sister Lucy and showed her hundreds of pictures of the most beautiful statues of Our Lady of Fatima that he had seen in his travels. Sister Lucy considered each one attentively, but shook her head. None of them looked like Our Lady as she appeared at Fatima. And once again, the search continued until a year later, an American priest who was also a trained sculptor dared to present Sister Lucy with his attempt. When Father McGlynn showed it to Sister Lucy, her comments discouraged him, but he proposed to make another statue under her supervision. It was the perfect arrangement. Now, you know, talking about the statue, it really makes me think of the Catholic masses that I attend. Uh, one of the most beautiful aspects of attending a Catholic mass is all the incredible statues of the saints, our Lord and our Lady, that you get to see. Uh, but even more special than seeing these depictions of the saints is the special graces received whenever I attend Holy Mass. If you are watching this video, I'm willing to bet that you know what I'm talking about. And this special grace that we receive during Holy Mass is exactly why we at American Needs Fatima commissioned Father Jerry, a Catholic priest, to pray a daily Catholic Mass in the name of all of our Child of Mary program members. We have a special intention for our liturgy today, for our Mass, America Needs Fatima's Children of Mary. And especially uh, we offer this Divine Liturgy for Lucy Cosgrove, for Matthew Long, for Mary Wyman, for Lisa Gibson, for Sarah... When you become a Child of Mary, Father Jerry offers up these daily Masses in your name and for your intentions, so that every single day you are flooded with the heavenly graces that only the Catholic Mass brings. And if you want a daily Mass prayed in your name, well, you can click the link in the description box below, or you can click right here. Now, when you join, Father Jerry will start offering a Mass in your name the very next day. 
and you will also receive a special lapel pin and a subscription to Crusade Magazine. So don't wait! Click the link in the description down below and become a child of Mary today. Okay, on to our story. Remember, Sister Lucy had just disapproved of the statue that Father McGlynn had created. Father McGlynn was not discouraged, however, and he set out to make an improved statue. But Sister Lucy was not easy to please. Corrections came readily, without any concern for how hard they may be to follow. Finally, Father McGlynn turned to America without the perfect statue. But his effort bore fruit. Father McGlynn passed his notes to Mr. Thedom, who was in the process of making the very first pilgrim statue. Thedom's work was finished and blessed on May 13, 1947. The result was spectacular. The statue was destined to travel the world as a pilgrim. As soon as she began her pilgrimages, the reception was overwhelming. Mr. Hafford saw that the statue would be scheduled in Europe for many years before she could go to America. So he petitioned the bishop to have a second pilgrim statue made to travel in the Western Hemisphere. Mr. Thedom worked on it with unusual fervor. Uh, perhaps he was encouraged by the warm reception of the first pilgrim statue, or perhaps emboldened with the certainty of accuracy by Sister Lucy's guidance. And the result was even more spectacular than the first statue. The second pilgrim statue was blessed on October 13th, 1947. Years later, Mr. Hafford arranged to leave the statue with Sister Lucy overnight. The next day, she commented that she had never seen a statue which so resembled the actual apparition of Our Lady. Finally, a statue that satisfied Sister Lucy was found. <laughs> and it has touched the lives of hundreds of millions of people ever since. Her first tour of the United States alone covered 32 dioceses in 20 states and was venerated by 5 million people. This same statue cried in New Orleans in July 1972. The weeping made it world-renowned since hundreds of secular newspapers worldwide published a picture of her tears. But that's a story for another day. A picture, or in this case a statue, speaks a thousand words. It was crucial that sculptures get the best resemblance of Our Lady as possible so that the whole world can be drawn to her face and through her gaze be reminded of her Fatima message of a prayer, penance, and conversion of heart. And that's our video today, Our Lady Pray For Us. Thank you for watching and may God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima Focus content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.